Assalamualaikum and uh, very good day to all viewers out there. I'm Madam Lisa. I'm going to discuss with you question uh, on MFRS 102 inventories from final exam June 2019. So let's start. Okay, let's look at the question June 2019, question 4A. Bumi Awan Berhad is a multinational company involved in multiple uh, business activities. Given below are the types of assets of the business at the year end of 31st of December 2018. So you have uh, eight categories of assets here. Okay, let's see what are you required to do. You are asked to state, state. So the word state means you do not have to explain, just state whether that apply under MFRS 102 inventories. So you can just answer yes or no. You can say yes, it is an inventory, or maybe no, it is not an inventory. Okay. You need to just state any three from the five that is an inventory, right? And maybe some of the items are not inventories, and they are made also maybe more than three items that are inventories. To recap, let's just revise the definition of inventories. These are assets that are held for sale in on records of business. For example, goods that you purchase and held for resale, you buy from the supplier and you sell it to your customer. Or the goods, uh, the assets that are, that are in the process of production for such sale, right, uh, work in progress for the first item. Um, finished goods could also be under held for sale in, in the current course of business. In the process of production for such sale, this is like work in progress, right? Um, where you are going to have a finished goods uh, at the end of the day. But at that moment, it was just in the process of the production. So you call it work in progress. And in the form of material or supplies to be consumed in the production process or in the rendering of service. So these are raw materials or maybe supplies, right? That are being used uh, in the construction process or maybe in the process of you giving services to your customer. So let's look at the first item. Asset categories here, uh, categorized, sorry, categorized as uh, work in progress. There's, there's a typo there. Just to let, let you know, there's a typo. All right, just make some correction there. Categorize. Okay, as work in progress arising under its construction division. So if you can recall from the lecture, asset that arise uh, uh, as a work in progress yeah, from a construction division that is actually outside the scope of MFRS 102 inventories. So this one is not in the scope, so this is not an inventory. So this one is actually under MFRS 15 yeah, that you will learn in your other MFRS study. Right, so this is not an uh, inventory. Second one, you have asset held for sale in the company for its trading activities. So for trading activities, this is clear. It is an inventory, but under the categories of finished goods, right? That is a finished goods, but it is an inventory. So that is one of the answer. Current asset used in the process of production. Okay, process of production. So that one is uh, uh, work in progress. If you can see, it matches with the definition here. So that means that is an inventory. Biological asset related to its agricultural activity. So this is another one that is also outside the scope of MFRS 102, but that is under uh, IAS 41 or MFRS 141, which is biological asset. So that is not an inventory. Asset which are held as financial instruments by finance division. So financial instruments, asset that are held as financial instruments are not inventory. This is actually an MFRS 9 financial instruments that will be learned again in at your other MFRS study. And the material to be consumed in production, a uh, uh, process of its manufacturing division. So material to be consumed in the production process is actually matching with this part in the last part of the definition of inventories, right? So that one is uh, actually an inventory, raw material, right? Supplies to be consumed by its servicing unit. So supplies here, right? Consumed in the unit. So that is also an inventory, raw material. So to be specific. And then assets constructed by its construction division to be used in, as in, uh, as it warehouse. So this is are not going to be an inventory because that will be a PPE. So the answer here is any three from two, three, six, and seven to number three, number six, and number seven. So number one, five, four, and eight is not 
inventory. So next, we go to the next question. Define net realizable value in accordance with MFRS 102. So you just need to give the definition of what is NRV. So NRV is the estimated selling price yeah, or the market price of the inventory less any cost to complete the inventory and the cost that is necessary to make the sale. So um, that one is the definition. It's a direct question. Next, the trading division of Bumi Awan is involved in supplying photocopying machine in Pahang. So that is the uh, business or the only cost of business of Bumi Awan. And it's uh, trading of uh, to supply photocopy machine. First February 2018, they purchased five. So that was what, what being purchased. So there is an increase in asset there. And each of it cost 30,000. That is the cost of the inventory, one of it. And the total cost of the import duty that should also be included is uh, uh, 3,000 together with the transportation charges. So that is 3,000. Mm -hmm. The estimated selling price of the machine is 65,000 each. So the 65,000 each is the selling price. So you need to find out what are the, um, the selling price, the net realizable value. Right, so that is given for the selling price. Thirty first of December, two units remains unsold. Right, so you purchase five. The price is thirty thousand each. The total cost and import duty for the uh, inventory that you purchase, together with the transportation charges, three thousand, and this is the estimated selling price. Right. And uh, two units remains unsold, meaning that three units have been sold off due to the technological obsolescences. The company had to offer a discount of 50% on the selling price of those units. So the selling price will have to be reduced by this uh, discount, 50%, and determine the amount of the inventories to be disclosed. So the amount of inventories to be disclosed here is the amount of the closing inventories, which refers to the re amount that were unsold. Yeah, so to the two units that will remain unsold, you need to go and calculate what are the amount that you need to disclose. Is it at cost or is it at net realizable value? And that is as at 31st of December, which is the date where you report your financial statement or your reporting date. Right? Let's look at the answer. First, find out what are the closing inventories. To find out what are the closing inventories, find the unsold inventories. Your unsold inventories will be the two units. So each unit is 30,000, right? So 60 there. Okay. And uh, the transportation and import duty that was given to you was actually for the... Um, total inventories for five units so you just need to find out what are the transportation for that uh, two units yeah, that were uh, unsold so if you can go back and check it was 33,000 right so this one should be from 3,000 so therefore uh, you have your 1,200 there Right, so the closing inventories at cost is 61,200. That is for the two unsold units. Now find out the net realizable value. The estimated selling price is 65. Bear in mind there was a discount of 50%. So minus that 50% discount. So you have 130,000 minus 65,000 discount. That will give you back 65,000. Compare this, this one, with this. If you do the comparison, you'll be able to see that the closing inventories is lower than the cost. So you will compare that. That is the first step. And then valuation of closing inventory will be at cost. Why at cost? Because cost is lower than the NRV. So the valuation of inventory will be valued at 61,200. And inventories therefore shall be measured at the lower of cost and net lesser value. Yeah, and as at the date that you are instructed to do, which is on the first of December, the cost of the inventory, which is sixty one thousand two hundred, is lower than the net realized value of sixty five thousand, and therefore the inventory amount that you will match um, report or will have to value, and put that in your soft P will be at cost, which is sixty one thousand two hundred, and therefore there is also no need for you to write down the value of inventories. And there is nothing for you to expense off to the sopple. Okay. That's it. I thank you for watching. 
Um, I hope you understand well with this video. I'll see you and I will see you. Catch me later on my next video.